I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios. We are here at AWS reInvent, ready to talk all things cloud security. I'd like to introduce you to my next guest. I'm joined by Mitchell Gulledge, a solutions architect, tech alliances at Netscope. Mitchell, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. I want to talk about hybrid work becoming the norm, right? So you have people working in multiple locations at home, in the office, all over the place. How can Netscope help these businesses and remote users access AWS uh, offerings? Yeah, great question. So what Netscope does is we insert ourselves between the users and the applications you're accessing. The reason we do that is we can now offer a full suite of security capabilities. This includes things like data loss prevention, cloud access security broker, and many others like zero trust network access. Specifically with our ZTNA solution, we've gone in and helped customers, especially migrating to the remote work architecture, remove all of their legacy VPN and firewall solutions and replace it with our cloud security offering. So they get simplicity, they get reduced cost, and they get scalability. So in addition to that, apologies, but we can also deliver traffic to all of your AWS applications in a number of ways. So there's the Netscope client, that can deliver your user traffic directly to the AWS app. We also have branch solutions like SD-WAN and even browser-based solutions if you can't, for some reason, install a client. So this really offers also, in addition just to the security protocols that you mentioned, um, ease of access for the end user, that person who finds themselves the office worker who's frustrated trying to, to get somewhere or accomplish a goal in a limited amount of time. You become uh, speed when necessary. Uh, absolutely, and that's a great way to put it. I like it. Um, I want to talk about some of the real world challenges that you've helped solve, because you have those. You've got a, a number of them, but can you highlight one or two for me? Yeah, the biggest one when it comes to AWS has to be shadow IT. The big thing that we're seeing with our customers is their developers will have corporate AWS access and then four or five different personal AWS accounts. So this is where our data loss prevention comes into play, because we can not only tie my user to all five of my AWS accounts, but what we can also do is make sure that data is not going from your corporate uh, AWS account to my personal S3 bucket or Dropbox. So this helps reduce risk and give tons of visibility into what your users are doing. That makes a lot of sense in the big scheme of things. I also want to talk about, you know, the, the big buzzword that we've heard here is organizations are really looking to accelerate the cloud journey. Uh, Everyone's on board, everyone understands it, and now they're really trying to do it at scale, things that you've already talked about. What are the key security challenges that you're seeing and how can Netscope really help address them specifically on AWS? Yeah, that's a great question. So a big thing that we can offer is our cloud access security broker solution. So with customers doing more and more inside the cloud and spinning up more and more services, it becomes a big risk because users can accidentally delete things or even contractors can come into your cloud and maybe they have permissions that they don't have, shouldn't have, I should say. And now, what we can actually do is not only control the activities that you do. For instance, I shouldn't be able to modify, edit, or delete an S3 bucket, but this group can. And we can also coach users. And this has been the big thing with uh, organizations adopting the cloud and accelerating their cloud journey is you have thousands of users potentially accessing these apps. So what we can now do is if you're doing something that violates your company's policy, you'll get educated. There'll be a big pop-up coming saying, hey, you shouldn't be accessing this. You're going to be redirected because of XYZ policies from your corporation. When people come to your booth, what are, you, what are they asking you about? What are they trying to learn about your company? What's the need that you're seeing? The biggest thing we see is how do we safely enable the use of generative AI? Companies will come to us, CIOs, and say, hey, I have thousands of users and they're using hundreds of Gen AI apps. How do we take the scope of all these Gen AI apps from hundreds to just a handful that I sanctioned as safe for my company? So that's where, again, our Caspi solution comes in. So as soon as I go to an unsanctioned application, I get redirected automatically to things like Bedrock or any other AI app that is okay and written off by my security team. And then when you kind of double stack that is you add our data loss prevention. So I'm not pasting API keys, PII, uh, credentials, or any other customer information into these generative AI applications. So when you stack our Caspi and DLP, it's really a great solution, a great story when it comes to how do we safely enable generative AI, and that has been the top topic we've seen at our booth. That is fascinating, Netscope right there to provide the solution. Mitchell Gulledge, thank you so much for making the time coming down and talking to me today. Of course, thanks so much for having me. I'm Steph Strickland, you're watching GeekWire Studios.